Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL. Today we're gonna to be planting some sugar apple seeds and also transplanting more sugar apples. This right here is all sugar apples and cherimoyas as well as some atemoyas. I recently just transplanted these and we're gonna be planting more seeds out today. I'm gonna to show you how I do it so you can learn and grow your own sugar apple plants. So the soil that I'm gonna be using for my sugar apples are gonna consist of three main things, perlite, peat moss and just regular native soil in your garden. When it comes down to how the soil is made, I like to use a formula of 40% peat moss, 40% perlite, and 20% native soil. Now the reason why I like to use this mixture is because the peat moss that you use will really give you a lot of soil to work with, as well as the perlite. Um, perlite is this white stuff, and what perlite does is actually increases the airflow that will be in the soil as well as it helps water actually drain out the pot better and the peat moss is actually makes it so it's easier on the sugar apple roots to grow easy and you know it won't be too dense i also like to always include my native soil mixture in there just because uh, these will eventually be going in the ground and it's always good to include native soil your native soil might look different than mine it might be red clay more loamy than this or you know a completely different um, structure but sugar apples are not too picky of what soil they grow in so you can even use a bagged potting mix from the store if that's what you want and when mixing it just make sure you get it very well mixed because if you plan on keeping it long term in the pot you just want it to have the best chance it has in the soil health. So this is how I like my sugar apple soil consistency. It's nice and free falling, nice and loamy. And you know, this is the exact type of soil you want in your plants. So this is how I like to plant my sugar apple seed. I like to plant it with the circle on the sugar apple seed facing up towards the sky. Now there is only one tiny circle on the seed. It looks like a little opening. And that is what I plant up towards the sky. Now when preparing the tray, I like to just put a bunch of soil over the tray like this. It's most easiest for me when you're planting a bulk amount of seeds out in one day. You can find these little trays on Amazon, the link will be in the description, but they're really useful as you see I just like to throw uh, soil right over and when it comes to making the holes you can just use your finger or a stick and the holes I make about half an inch to an inch deep and uh, you know not too deep so the seed can just rest in there and this is where you want to plant the seeds kind of facing up how I showed you in the picture Once you sow the seeds, you can just lightly cover the top with uh, a top layer of soil. Now, don't pat this down too hard. Uh, just, you know, lightly cover the top and um, brush off any excess soil. But very lightly. You don't want to be rough in this part. Now, the ideal place I always like to store my sugar apple seedling trays are just under um, a tree that you may have on your property now this could be under a larger oak or it could just be under a shade tree if you also have a greenhouse you can also use that i like to use under the trees because it kind of creates a natural greenhouse and also don't forget to water the seedling tray and uh, when you notice the top soil dry i recommend to water it as well Now around three to four weeks and sometimes longer, you will start seeing your sugar apple seeds sprout up and form new leaves like this. Now this is when it's recommended to remove the sugar apples and repot them into new pots just because uh, they will try to reach for the ground and it's just recommended to get them in a bigger pot once uh, they reach the size so they can start growing bigger. Doing this method you'll be able to sprout and repot a bunch of sugar apple seeds. Uh, I really like using these little trays because it's very easy to pop them out and super simple to just repot the sugar apple into a whole new pot.
Thank you so much for watching this video on how to grow your own sugar apple seedling. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And please stay tuned if you love sugar apples because I have a whole sugar apple farm right here. And stay tuned over the years to see how they grow. Thank you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.